Okay, so just a little bit of a disclaimer. I, I'm currently recording this on April 1st. Um, and this is gonna be uploaded on April 7th, which is a Friday. So you guys have, have some content. And then the birthday video is gonna come out probably next Friday from the st things about my future. But anywho, point to the video. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel again. So, um, uh, currently it's April 1st and I have a, my, a birthday party of mine with my friends and all. It was really cool. And uh, of course I got gifts and stuff like that. But my dad bought me a surprise gift and a very good friend of mine, which for obvious reasons, uh, for obvious privacy reasons, I won't mention his name, but you know who you are. Um, give me some model chain stuff. So let's first start with the smaller stuff. That being with the, the things that my best friend got me. So he got me three pieces of rolling stock being this. Pennsylvania Railroad Manta Classic uh, Wooden Vintage Freight Car, which is really cool. It's a water car. Yeah, uh, he knows another Pennsy Railroad, and he got me this Pennsy one. So it's very tough for him to get to get me this. And then he also gave me these two, which is an HO scale from Lionel actually, a Reading Hover Car and a Long Island Caboose. Which also ironically, he knows that I really love these these two road names too. So. You know, he got me all the way wrong names, so um, yeah. And just uh, just very quickly unbox these real quick, so. So let's just take these out. I think this is my first Mantua uh, item, I think. But yeah, there we go. Ooh. All right, so we got plastic wheels, okay. Knuckle cobblers, that's really interesting. Feels some weight in here. Uh, wow. This is a really fantastic item. Wow. This is really detailed. That's so cool. Let me put the camera more down, but yeah, this is so cool. I all I love this. You know, it's Pansy Railroad related. And you know, it's just so cool. I finally have a Pansy rolling stock I know, which I realized now that's kinda of funny. Um we're gonna put this on the tracks right now. Hold on. After I record a video, of course, because I actually, ironically, uh, this, this was my accident. I actually have my 482 Mountain Type from the Pansy Railroad running with a good strain, so that was kind of funny that I combined, but right. Now for the two Lionel HO items, which is gonna be awesome. So let's see the quality on these, because I have never unboxed uh, Lionel stuff from HO specifically. So I do own the O gauge for Express, but. They were an only type, a uh, HOI and stuff, I'll for that. Wow. Uh, right off the bat, this looks really promising. Uh, hold on, give me a second, this is very, okay. So here's the hopper car, metal wheels, I do like that, that's very good. Uh, knuckle cobblers, of course. Very nice, these are the, the redding. redding. Wow, this is very crisp. Uh, wow. No cold love, fortunately, and there's a bunch of molded detail, but that's fine though. Really nice hover car. Wow, from Lionel. That's really cool. Uh, hold on, give me a second. I'm just gonna, I just wanna put everything back to its box, you know, so I can have everything organized so when I put it away, I don't get confused. And, you know, you, you guys get the point, you guys. I just want to be a organized child, or a teenager in my case, but, um, yeah, this is, these are some really nice gifts. Like, honestly, I'm very happy with these. And now with the Long Island Caboose. I think they have the tape off too. Ooh, -ee. this is gonna be sweet. These come up very easily. And they're, I like how they're packaged with wood tape and such. Uh, oh, wow, this has tape. How huh, the, the hover did it have that? Maybe this has more details to the hopper, does it more protected? I don't know. Gotta see the caboose out. And be careful because I do not want to break this thing. And wow! <laughs> this is so awesome! Oh, so nicely detailed with the wood, the roof, the finish. The coppolis, man. And though they have metal wheels too. Wow! That is just so cool. Man. For honestly, the person who knows who gave me this, thank you so much, man. This is awesome. Wow, okay. I definitely gotta add these to the train now. So yeah, you just add this real quick to the train. Yeah. All right, so uh, I put that real quick on the train here. 
I'm gonna put the Union Pacific caboose couple of cause why, why not have two cabooses, you know, two are better than one, but these look really nice. I really like these. Okay, and this is the last gift, which is for my dad. He gave me a surprise uh, mystery train. And it was, I don't think, hold on, I think I might have to do this to 0 0.5, but it was this. One of Hormi's earlier train packs, and it's actually a train pack that I've been looking for a while now. Let me just show you guys. So, this specific model, I've actually been looking for a while now, but since it's so rare and, uh, and when, usually when you find it, it goes for high price, it's really hard for me to find one for a good price. But uh, recently I was on Haddon's and I was able to find the, not only the engine, but also the, the train pack for it. We look, I was gonna cross already. So here's the specific, but I won't show that one because that's just what it is. And it's the Coronation Scott. Um, so it used to an here. So yeah, we got the Coronation Scott. It's Princess Alexandra. Um, so of course it's one of the elements is uh, Streamline Pacifics, which is just so awesome. And yeah, this looks so cool. So I'm gonna unbox this real quick off camera and put on the track and test it because why not? Well, I got the whole Coronation Scott ready up and I detailed the engine already. I put the under parts and um, yeah, it looks very good. So let's just uh, run it. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there it goes, there we go. Yeah, it's waking up. Trying super smooth, so that's really good. You know, for being one of the order models from Hornby, uh, it's not bad. Um, this is just really good, it has some nice details. If I had to complain about anything, it, it has to be uh, probably that the cop detail is not uh, painted on, and um, the coaches feel railroad range like but they have like it feels like they use the mold from some railroad range custom cars but they have metal wheels and nice details so i don't know maybe it's like a railroad plus models maybe i don't know but yeah do you like it yeah there it goes and uh also what i like is just oh. well it's just great okay it's just fantastic. It's just... Well, uh, that's kind of funny. All right, let me just fix this. All right, we got it running now. Uh, so uh, the the box tire is just just the couple when couple back up, but I had to fiddle with it. But the cars are running smooth so far. Uh, they're taking my 18 radius curves really nicely, and of course uh, the the Coronation Sky is. Uh, running smoother uh, Things can just used to running again, you know um, Yeah Really beautiful models here so uh, Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna be but uh, the courageous Scott pack is really good. Uh, I give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's really good um but yeah, I really like this, and so do I, I do the Rebel Cross, the, yeah, the, those cars, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And just before we go, I just want to get a cool cinematic shot. A little bit high so you can see, yeah, there it is. There it is. That's nice shot.